week of the trade series, the podcast series, where you can learn from the best in the business. I am John, your host from Curie, and I am Alumni Venture, and India's first revenue tech firm, where we enable leading startups and corporations to maximize their revenue potential by building the best revenue teams. In this series, we invite industry experts to share their practical tips, insights, and secrets of success. Whether you are an employee, a student, or a lifelong learner, you will always definitely find something valuable and interesting in every episode. Today, we have a very special guest with us. Uh, Kashish. Kashish is an uh, SDR currently working with Smarty, and he has almost four plus years of experience in sales. Kashish, welcome to the show, and we are thrilled to have you as a guest, and would like to thank you for joining us for the session. Thank you so much, John, for such a beautiful introduction. Yeah, thank you. So. Yeah. Uh, let's start by uh, getting to uh, know you more or better. You can uh, uh, introduce uh, yourself by your education experience and your background. So, uh, Jagmi, like if I talk about my career and qualification and all, like I was a totally a non-IT guy, completed my graduation and all in 2019. I completed my graduation in BCom in, uh, in 2019. Then just after I started my career in sales. My first job was in Crown Coffee Machines and that organization I almost worked for like eight to nine months. Then uh, in next year, uh, in 2020, pandemic happened, like everybody were like so harsh, like here and there. Okay. So after that, I switched to the another organization, which was Byju's itself. So in Byju's, my experience was great. That was my first big organization where I get it. So in that organization, I've worked for as a pre-sales associate, like our major task is to just generate the meetings, generate book meetings for our sales managers team. In that organization, I guess I almost worked for the like one and a half year with different profiles. I can say like a business developer trainee, a pre-sales associate, and then end of my tenure, I also worked as a senior pre-sales associate. Completing that, uh, I left by juice, then I joined Smart. Uh, Smart is my current one. So I joined Smart last year in Feb. In Feb. So uh, Smart is a totally kind of B2B data platform company. But the background I came from is a totally IT, uh, totally non-IT guy. But uh, Smart gave me an opportunity to learn uh, IT products, to learn about SaaS products. So it was a totally a different journey for me. So in Smart, I work as an SDR. So our main task is to just generate uh, meetings to qualify them like just to research over the same then book for the sales team correct so yeah here is my career and qualification and all yeah that's great so what inspired you to uh, pursue your career into sales honestly when i joined uh crown coffee machine and sales i was totally unaware about like whether I am made for the sales or not, whether I want to like pursue my career in sales or not. But what I feel in sales, sales are very dynamic role, like where you have to learn every day. Like you are dealing with lots and lots of people. Some people are good, some people are not that and good. So yeah, it's a very, I can say very extraordinary experience as compared to other roles, I can say. Yeah. Oh, certainly. So what does a day in your role look like? Smart simply we can say like uh, uh basically currently I'm working for the North American region. So uh totally I'm working in the night shifts. So we usually start a day at six, uh, starting doing research where like on which prospects we have to deal in that particular day, right? So we downloaded, we created a list of like 60 to 80 people in a day. Then we start researching over the same over the LinkedIn profiles. Smart itself is a kind of data platform. Like where we can, they provide us contact information like mobile numbers, email addresses, like website information. So yeah, these kind of information help us to like know more about the, our prospects. Then after we start our day, like we're doing like cold calling, we are doing, I can say, uh, emailing. We are also using CS Navigator for the outbound outreach. So yeah, after completing an all in all, then we have some internal meetings as well. So at the end of through like. In midnight, I can say in 3 a.m., we completed our shifts. That's so great. So how can sales professionals use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate more uh, leads effectively? 
I feel that we a uh, sales navigator is a outstanding platform for like for lead generation. I can say the reason being is that everybody has their phone in their hands nowadays, right? Some people don't pick calls, don't revert on emails, but everybody is using their phones, right? And everybody, everyone is using LinkedIn nowadays. If someone is not on LinkedIn, definitely is not updated nowadays. Correct. So yeah, we can outreach, like we can just put filters in Sales Navigator according to our like peer, like companies' personas or according to companies' needs. So yeah. So here, how this is the way we can find the new leads, new people from the LinkedIn. All right. So what are some of the best practices for connecting with the C-level employees and qualifying the potential customers? What I feel now, like it is always better to connect more people from the same organization. Right. For example, if I want to connect with the uh, uh, Infosys, right. Rather than connecting with the director of the sales, firstly, I, I would love to connect with the like lower level guys for example the sdr the ae the managers by doing this i i came to know about what exactly they demanded in their organization right by doing this like for example i connected almost five to ten people from the enforcers from the sales department then when i going to like pitch my role like pitch my uh, product to the c level guy so it will always be better to prepare the same correct so like, for example, I told them like, uh, I have worked with your the, like other members of your team. Like they told me that you guys are facing these kinds of issues and yeah, like we can help you in this thing. So this is the, always the better thing rather than directly go to the C-level guy. And how can sales professional find the right prospect for the software services to shorten the sales cycle? Mm -hmm. Better to connect with the like decision maker rather than uh, going by via the gatekeepers or can say the intermediaries. Like it's it's the part of the qualification. If uh, he or she has no like scope of their taking the decision, there is no need. I, what I feel there is no need of taking meetings and all with them, right? Because it is totally waste of time for them as well as for ourselves. So it is always better to connect with the person who has the decision making, but who has the authority. So yeah. By doing this, we can shorten the like cycle. All right, that certainly agreed on the same. What are the best practices for cold calling and qualifying the lead? Practices for the cold calling, definitely. Like in North American region, I can say the timings is always the like key factor for the cold calling, right? At what time you are calling to the prospect it was very is matters for everyone correct so sometimes it works for the morning time sometimes it works for the evening or sometimes it works for the lunch time correct so what is working for me in the north american region morning times are always the best the reason being is that the, at that time prospects are fresh they are they don't have the burden of the whole day so it's always better to connect in the morning time and pitch them like what we want from them so yeah by doing this by all following up is very important thing in the like in the north american region i can say because i have only experience in the north america so i only talk about the north american one so yeah certainly so how can sales professionals collaborate with their sales team to develop strategies for reaching sales targets being an sgr it's always better for a like uh, upper level management to to understand us like what we are facing as a problem for example uh, if the data is not the good or like if the quality of the data is not good if the accuracy issues or the less mobile numbers or i can say the more bounce rate these are the some issues and sgr uh, like or an account executive is facing nowadays correct so if we are able to to consider like we are able to to tell this problem to the uh, like upper management it would be always better to get the solution for the same rather than we are dealing with ourselves we are not getting results rather than blaming ourselves it is always better to get the solution from the upper management team so yeah by doing this you can solve the things and how can sales professional use or tools like salesforce hubspot sales navigator and outplay to improve the sales process the 
like for the sales process like if i talk about the cm cm updation is always a better thing the reason being that you, you never remember what we talk about the like particular lead after a day or after a tour i can say because we are connecting more than like 50 80 people in a day so it is very difficult to remember what the what the exact conversation we are having with a particular lead correct so crm is always good for the sales people or for the marketing guys if i talk to the sales navigator as we already discussed about the sales game we use all sales navigator apart from that outplay currently we are using outplaying smart as well so it helps us to reduce our like workload for example it's why while creating sequence we are putting lots of lots of prospects in sequence by doing this the emails are going automatically we don't have to um, email manually so it would always be better getting more people with less time so yeah as you mentioned that outplay help you in your process so can you put an example where outplay or sales navigator actually help you to uh, simplify your process and get into the uh, definite process like if i talk about the, like in like we are in the month of may currently like there are lots and lots of conferences are going in north american region or in the london area right so it is very difficult for me if i type a manual email to a particular prospect then i have to switch to the another one hardly i can do like 15 to 15 is also a very big number by doing uh, the manual one right but by doing a like say, uh, like automatic sequences i can say more than 150 to 200 emails same the format or uh, i just put uh, like some variables in that particular way i can change the company name or i can change the job title in that particular email so yeah outplay is very beneficial in that in, in current particular time right so sales navigator is using uh, every aspect i can say either it's a uh, hr either it's a uh, sales or either it's a uh, marketing if we are able to understand how sales navigator works honestly sales process is becoming very easy that's absolutely agree to your point so how do you conduct your market research to understand your target audience a niche and preferences how we are researching over the prospect is yeah like as i already mentioned like smart itself is a b2b data platform company like uh, rather than using any other platforms like lusha or zoom info smart itself providing us like more accurate i can say or more global data right for example i am like i am looking for the jan we in curate correct so at that time i just research curate and smart and all the information related to curate like how many employees you guys are having or what is the revenue you are having the past years what is the employee size or what like what job role you are in so it is always better to research over the platform then we had switch to the linkedin linkedin gives us a keyword for example a you like someone is working in hr so what the activities doing either the she is doing payroll activities or either she is doing like managing the employees and what else right so by researching over the linkedin as well as the data platform it's always better to get more and more information so yeah Completely agreed. Market research actually plays an important role while reaching out to any prospect. It also provides an upper edge to the person. Mm -hmm. As we discuss about the market research, also what are some of the effective techniques to gather uh, this information apart from LinkedIn? We are only using the like smart platform. Like we don't are uh, using any other platform. Like some like I saw some of my friends are working organization where they are using various platforms for the data mining. Right? Like they are using uh, like Lusha along with their Zoom info. But uh, what I feel it is very cumbersome to manage two platforms at the same time. Right? So being an employee of the smart, I can say like smart is a good platform for the data mining thing. So yeah, market research equals to smart for nowadays. So yeah, I can say the same thing. All right. So uh, what are some common mistake that companies make uh, when prospecting, and how these can be avoided? Mistakes, I can say actually uh, nowadays the recession time is going on. Like every now and then, company is like laying off the employees like in just a seconds. so it's always better to research 
before pitching or before connecting with any person in the like organization for example i'm connecting with ram in the month of january but he told me connect me with me in the like in the month of may but when i'm going to connect with in the month of may he is not no more in the same organization at that time i had to research over the same either he is or he or she is in the organization or the system or not because we are sending an email yeah and i'm like you told me to connect back in the month of may but we are expecting no results from him because he is no more in the, the same so and no more in the system correct so at that time we had to research over the same thing like either like he oh, sometimes people are not updating their linkedin correct so this is also the one of the biggest problems as a sales person we are facing like for example i connected with him like uh, i saw your linkedin profile you work in the so and so role but he said like i left the organization in the past like 6 months what else we can do now we have no other option because linkedin is the one and only source where we can the updated information if we are not using linkedin it's very difficult it's very hard to get the exact information so yeah these are the some problems some issues as a sales person or as a company we are facing and how these type of problems can be avoided can be avoided yeah like uh, like in smartna we are providing consented data so what i feel consent is very a good concept before doing anything right for example if uh, like you changed the job like past three months but you didn't update the linkedin right but when i call you i confirm the same thing like we are jan we like we connected uh, the like three months back you told me like let's get back to in the month of may like are you still working for the same organization as i saw your linkedin you are currently working for the same one but how's the things going on rather than just call them like hey like you give me like you told me connect at the month like let's have a quick demo call definitely they will never come back so uh, this is the only thing we can like improve the situation we can handle the situation that's absolutely right so how do you segment your target audience uh, based on factors such as demographics behaviors and uh, what would be the advantages of categorizing the persons on that basis uh, what is the best part of the smart is like currently we are catering each and every industry uh, like apart from its, its employee size its revenue size or its like geography right so uh, like and smart we are divided two teams in north american region and the emea and apac region if i specifically talk about the north american region we are catering uh, companies who has more than employee size of 500 not below than that and we are going like up to like 50 60000 people of employee size because a uh, smart is a kind of subscription model so it is always better to connect with a bigger organization rather than i'm connecting with a uh, organization who has a 50 to 100 employees definitely they will not have enough in requirement for the sale because one license costs you more if you are going with a more license then it would be a like less surprise as compared to other platforms so yeah these behavior or demographic aspects helps us to like find a new target person absolutely so what uh, would be some of the tips you would be giving or uh, would like to give to our audience who are aspiring to be sdrs or want to start their career into sales i joined smart uh, when i joined as an sdr i was totally unaware about what sdr is what 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 i can do what cool calling is because as i mentioned i am come from the totally non it world right but if uh, first of all you have to choose your organization very wisely if they are not able to not ready to train you there is no use of joining any organization right training is the main aspect main important factor in the any of the organization right if you trained well definitely you will perform well uh, or i can say you can do as much as research you can do in the like in your honeymoon period the very few months in the starting months right because if you are wasting those 3 or 4 months definitely you will not doing enough things in that particular time because in that time you don't have any pressure you don't have any burden things right at that time you just you have time lots of to learn you can learn from your colleagues you can learn from your upper management you can learn from the other departments so yeah research i can say training i can say learning research yeah these are the some factors like 
you have to consider before joining as an SDR in any of the organizations? Absolutely agree. Researching about the company, the role actually helps an individual to exactly. perform better in the interviews or either apply for any of the opening and provide a clear idea. Exactly. True. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kashish, for taking out time and be part of the session and sharing some wonderful insights with our audience. And we certainly enjoyed and are glad to have you here as a guest over the Cotter Trade Series. It was nice connecting with you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. Uh, Thank have you. a great day. Okay. Thank you.